Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and I am from the YouTube channel, Lavinia Rosanda, where I talk about all things makeup and skincare. I'm someone who has been dealing with acne since I was 13, and I'm here to give you guys all my tips, tricks, and everything I've learned throughout my years on YouTube and using skincare. So today we're gonna be talking about microneedling and the science behind it. I find microneedling a very interesting concept and something that can be very beneficial, but there is a lot to know about it so I'm gonna give you guys all the information you need all in this video so first of all what is microneedling so microneedling basically consists of using tiny needles to puncture the top layer of the skin which is the epidermis and basically the target of this procedure is to promote collagen production so it's often used to even skin tones help with scarring acne scarring as well wrinkles and overall making the skin smoother through these treatments so microneedling has actually been around for a couple of decades and fun fact back in 1996 a Canadian plastic surgeon which shout out if you're Canadian named Dr. Andre Camerand discovered that puncturing the skin with actual tattoo needles that are very small similar to a microneedling pen that we see nowadays was actually helping with skin scarring and skin healing and his patient's scars improved immensely after going through this treatment. And then during that same year, Dr. Days Fernandez, who's also a plastic surgeon, introduced his own needling device that we now know as a derm roller, which is basically a little roller tool that has a bunch of tiny needles on it. We know what microneedling is now, but how does it actually work? There's a lot of science and evidence backing microneedling and what it can do for not only the skin, but also the hair. As these needles are pressed into your skin, it's actually causing trauma to the skin, which can be called micro injuries or punctures. And as I mentioned before, this is happening into the top layer of the skin known as the epidermis. So because we're causing damage on that portion of the skin, your body reacts by sending collagen to that location to accelerate the healing process. As it sends those healing agents such as elastin and collagen, overall it's going to help that area of the skin heal any scarring, wrinkles, or whatever you are trying to treat through this microneedling treatment. So what is microneedling used for and when should you use it? Microneedling can help things like acne scars, fine lines, wrinkles, loose skin, texture, pore size, brown spots or discoloration, let's say from the sun and hyperpigmentation, as well as also stretch marks and hair loss. So it can be done on different parts of the body as well, not just the face. And aside from that, it can also help with product absorption. So let's say you're using some skincare products and you're not really seeing um, immense benefits from it. Sometimes doing a micro needling procedure beforehand can really help those products penetrate deeper into the skin. You just, of course, want to be careful with this. You don't want to be going in with super strong actives like let's say salicylic acid, BHAs, AHAs, I would probably stay away from those after doing a treatment like this since your skin can be very sensitive afterwards. So when should you not do these treatments? I think this is very important to talk about since although microneedling can have immense amount of benefits, it's also important to know when you should not be practicing this treatment. So if you have very, very sensitive skin, you probably wouldn't want to do this. You want to talk to your derm or esthetician to see what options are best for you. If you have any active acne or any open cysts, or anything like that you don't want to be doing this type of treatment as there's no need to be puncturing that because what that can lead to is further spreading that acne infection all over the face so you want to wait till the acne is healed and this is more a treatment for the acne scars and pigmentation left over after a breakout heals of course that goes with any other healing wound anything that's open anything that's a sore you don't want to be going over with this type of treatment with so now let's get into some of the different types of microneedling so of course we have professional medical needling. There are a few different versions of this. I've gotten a similar procedure done where it was a combination of needles and um, light therapy as well and I did this professionally to help with my acne scars a few years back and I did see really great results from this. There's also procedures such as the vampire facelift and with these medical microneedling procedures they do penetrate deeper into the epidermis than some of the at-home um, devices you will see and it usually you do several of these treatments kind of a month or so apart and you do I would say around like four to six to really see results. 
In particular, with the vampire facelift, what happens is the patient's blood is drawn and it is actually turned into PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma. And after the microneedling treatment is done, the PRP is put back onto the patient's face and this is supposed to help and accelerate that healing process even further. But there is also cosmetic microneedling, which can be done at home. It's usually more inexpensive as well. So these methods do not penetrate the epidermis as deeply and this is just so that it's safer to do at home and within these products there are various types of needles and basically the difference in size of the needle will target a different issue the smaller needles are usually um, to help with hair loss and stuff and then the longer needles which obviously would penetrate deeper into the skin are used for something as acne so what types of at-home microneedling are there? So first of all, we have the roller type. As you can see, this just comes on a little roller and there are a, t a bunch of tiny little needles right on there. So basically how you use this is you press it down and roll it right up against the skin. You don't need to apply too much pressure at all and it kind of does the work for you. We also have the pen version, which I don't have on hand. The needles are inside the pen, and then when you're using it, needles penetrate the skin, so they kind of go in and out. Um, just think of like a pen, that's really how they work. I would say these are kind of more on the intense side of the at-home treatments. And then last but not least, we have the um, stamp, which is my favorite method. This is the Banisher 2.0. As you can see, it's just a stamp looking um, microneedling tool. And with this, you press it right down into the skin. What I personally like about this one is that it distributes even pressure, which um, opposed to the roller, which kind of rolls on the skin. and this can lead to some tugging and stuff if not used correctly so it's not really um, I would say as recommended as something as this at least in my eyes um, with this you have even pressure I feel like there's less risk to um, damage your skin with a stamp like this so basically you just use this about once every week I would say if your skin's more sensitive leave it to even longer times between the treatments and you can work your way up as you continue but I have to say my skin has really improved with microneedling um, I had some really deep set scars in my cheek here and as you can see they have lightened up I've seen really great results from it for any scarring pigmentation and anti-aging as well now what are the risks um it is a pretty low risk and short recovery type treatment with the more professional ones um i'm pretty sure i couldn't wear makeup for like a day or something like that and i was only supposed to wash my face with water with something like this at home i just would recommend not maybe you know drowning your face in makeup right after kind of let your skin um, do its thing. I usually will do a treatment like this at nighttime so then my skin has the whole night to kind of recover. But if used incorrectly, you know, it can cause some bleeding, some micro tears in the skin, infection, it can worsen scarring, and it can lead to pigmentation issues if you're not using it correctly, if you're pushing too hard, um, if you're really tugging at the skin with this, you know, and I find that's one of the issues with the roller is people will really go in there. And that's why I prefer the stamp. You get more control and it's less um, likely that you'll hurt yourself with it. And some of the common mistakes I see is using it too often. So make sure you're sticking to uh, that max once a week, I would say, range. Um, also, you don't want to be pushing too hard. The needles will do the work for you. You don't have to really go in there. And making sure you're also sanitizing is super, super important. Um, make sure you're soaking this in alcohol for at least like five minutes before. I really like that this one has a cap that you can do so with. And also after, you want to make sure you're sanitizing this because if you're stamping your skin, it's going deep into the pores. You want to be disinfecting that and make sure you're sterilizing it so you're not just reapplying the dirty needles back onto your skin to worsen infection. So please, please, please sanitize your micro needles when using them. But if you do that all, I think that this can be a very helpful treatment. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you a bit about what microneedling is all about, the science behind it, what types of microneedling there is available on the market, as well as some of the risks, caution to take, and when and when not to use it. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Um, make sure to go check out more of the Acne Channel's videos. And if you're interested in my content, I'm just at Lavinia Rosanda here on YouTube. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!